Hello guys, in this lesson we are going to use the if formula. As you know that if is a condition, it's a logical test. That means take for example, here the students mark for math. Okay, they are the students, these are the name, names of the students. So the logic is that that if a student gets more than or equal to 35 in math, he will get passed in the examination. So this is the logic. Or if it is less than 35, he will get failed in the exams. So what we can do for this kind of logical test or the conditional test, we can use this E formula. So equal to, we have to start by writing equal to, then if is the conditions or the logic. Okay, if is the conditions, then this is the guidelines, this is the syntax. What the syntax tells about, what is the logical test? The logical test is that if the student score less than or equal to or greater than or equal to 35 mark in math, the student will get passed. So we can, this is the math. So this is F3. F3 means this is math mark. This is the address of the cell. If this cell is greater than or equal to, let us not write equal to or greater than, it's wrong. The Excel will send an error here. Greater than or equal to 35. Okay. So next, so you can see there is a comma. Syntax is, this is the logical test. The logic is that if F3 is greater than or equal to 35, then it should be followed by a comma. Okay. Then value if true. Okay. Then what we have to write? We have to write here true. No, we, do, we need to write pass. We can write here pass. P A S S. So you can write also capital. No problem. Okay. So this has to be put in. Sorry. This has to be put in double quote. This is important. Okay. This is important because it will understand when we put something in double quote inside a formula, the Excel will understand that it is a text, else it will send one error. Therefore, when we are writing a text in the formula, we have put inside the double quote. Then we can write here, you can look at the syntax here, comma. Okay. Then the value is false. Then we can write fail fail okay yes the candidate will get fail mark then bracket close just so let us so this is pass mark okay. then you can simple double click here you will get you can see here the here it is 55 it 55 is greater than or equal to 35 therefore it is pass mark here you can see it is Fail mark, fail mark because it is 35. 35 means it is less than, it is, it is 34. It is less than 35. Therefore, the candidate has got fail mark. Okay. Similarly, you can also see this accounts also. Accounts whether the students has got the pass mark in accounts. So accounts is here, accounts mark is here. Similarly, we can write equal to, if you can write, okay. We have to write if then logical test is that we can select the cell here 45 is greater than or equal to 35 okay then logical test then after that we can put a comma then we can write within inverted comma that is past pass Sorry. we can write pass Okay, then comma, else, fail. Okay, then we can, we have to close the bracket. Then we can hit enter. Okay, so, we can drag it like this. Okay, this you can see, once again it is, 
this cell you can see this is fail the accounts mark is 25 you can see it is 25 therefore the candidate has failed but here you can see it is 59 it is more than 35 therefore the candidate has passed the mark okay so here you can check one by one so, so this is how this this is how we can use e formula and basically e formula tells about a conditions okay conditions in general life also we can in our common life we can also put condition if it rains i will not go to school else i will go similar kind of conditions we are also applying here in case of in excel also okay we have students mark and we want to determine if the student has scored something scored in a subject above equal to or above a particular score the person the candidate or the student is passed the student pass the exams okay else the student fail the exams this is how we can use this formula that's for the lesson i will see you in the next one